Thank you, Enrique. Mr. Chairman, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, in the next few minutes, I'm going to address this question. And before uh, going ahead, I would like to uh, try to define what is a reference cytotoxic regimen, because we can consider a regulatory uh, um, approach. So then we like to have a regimen to be compared with others in order to register a new drug or a new combination of drugs. But also we have in the academic uh, independent research, uh, we may have, in the, as, I, as I said, in the academic setting, we have the definition of some new trials just to improve our understanding and our practice in treating those uh, patients in order to improve uh, routine clinical practice. So first, uh, I would like also to um, uh, remember you that the aims of therapy in metastatic gastric cancer is mainly symptomatic control to improve quality of life and or avoid its deterioration, uh, to delay tumor progression, and it is, if it is possible to prolong survival. So those are the list of uh, active drugs in these DCs. But I'm going to consider them separately. So first, I will go for those drugs that are active, and we know that uh, from randomized trials uh, defined with the purpose of superiority. And those three drugs are cisplatin, docetaxel, and trastuzumab. So we have a nice information indicating that platinum is uh, uh, superior when adding, added to, uh, for example, S1 uh, monotherapy. Those are uh, the, the graphics of the um, SPIRIT trial showing that the addition of uh, cisplatin to uh, uh, oral foropyrimidines, S1 in this case, is going to improve overall survival. Also, docetaxel is able to do the same. In this um, uh, classical trial, uh, docetaxel well, was not uh, added to monotherapy, but to a combination of cisplatin and fluorouracil, and again, there was an increase in survival. Despite the fact that the population accrued in this trial was younger and also with better performance status than some others, and toxicity is a concern for this uh, triplet combination. However, this point of docetaxel being superior is also, um, it has been also uh, reported uh, recently in the uh, ASCO, last ASCO GI trial when uh, the addition of uh, docetaxel to S1 is also able to improve uh, uh, survival in this uh, very large phase three randomized trial performed by, by our Japanese uh, colleagues. So uh, I'm not going to cover the, the um, uh, uh, targeted agents, but also trastuzumab is such an agent able to improve survival in those uh, patients with uh, HER3 uh, positive um, uh, tumors. So we have another group of drugs in which the evidence is coming from um, non-inferiority trials. So in general, non-inferiority trials um, um, and need larger numbers of patients because um, they do not aim at showing uh, superiority. So the, 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 the largest one is the real two trial in which in a bifactorial design, um, uh, these, three, these uh, uh, four arms were compared with the aim of having non-inferiority of oxaliplatin compared with cisplatin, and also um, non-superiority of uh, capecitabine over uh, five a few. And they have a f a very similar data showing that non-inferiority, and also with some perhaps interesting data in the, in the clinic, uh, for example, the number of thrombotic episodes was much lower when uh, oxaliplatin uh, was combined with the other two drugs than uh, um, uh, compared with the uh, cisplatin uh, group of uh, patients. 
but also we have this trial, uh, this uh, Korean trial, in which the non-inferiority uh, of Cape Cytabine was uh, confirmed over uh, five FU, when the real two and uh, this uh, trial were combined, there was a, a tiny but significant difference in favor of um, uh, Cape Cytabine uh, when uh, added to other uh, um, uh, regimens. So the other two drugs we have uh, less data or less convincing data are anthracyclines and uh, CPT-11. So th the role of anthracyclines is really conflicting in this disease because those drugs were developed in the early 80s when response criteria were not uh, very well established. In fact, in the phase two uh, single arm trials performed in those days, many patients were assessed by ultrasonography and not uh, with the current uh, CT scan or, or MRI criteria. And this is something we should consider. Also, uh, but however, despite this uh, limited evidence, epiruvicin has been uh, part of the all MRC uh, trials, uh, being part of ECF, EEX, or EOX. However, single agent activity in uh, 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 phase two randomized trials is very limited. It's 8% in this uh, phase two randomized trial I'm showing to you, and very similar to 5FU. And also we have data from meta-analysis that are really conflicting. The first meta-analysis is coming from uh, 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 the one published by Anna Wagner in the Cochrane uh, Review. Um, only 500 patients are considered in this meta-analysis. Those are not individual data. Those are pool data from the publications. And there is a, a very uh, tiny but reduced uh, risk of uh, death uh, of about 23%. However, when another meta-analysis taking individual data of uh, almost uh, 1,200 patients are considered. Um, uh, the point, also the weak point of this is that um, most of the um, MRC trials are not included, we are not included in this meta-analysis. There is no difference in favor of anthracyclines. So uh, we are lacking evidence that anthracyclines are important in the, in the treatment of uh, advanced gastric cancer. CPT-11 is a big difference because uh, CPT-11 is active in phase uh, two combination trials with 5 of you or uh, uh, with cisplatin. Um, however, in a phase three randomized trial with a superiority design, CPT-11 uh, combined with uh, five of you was not superior to the so-called standard 5 of you cisplatin uh, schedule. In a phase two randomized trial, uh, Folfiri was uh, uh, more favorable in this uh, uh, compared with 5 fu leucovorin or with the combination of platinum 5 fu leucovorin. In several meta-analyses, there is no advantage uh, for CPT-11, but the effect is very similar when compared with platinum-based uh, combinations. So Folfiri, on the other hand, is very well accepted in clinical practice because uh, toxicity is very well managed. We have uh, data from this randomized trial. This is a French intergroup uh, collaboration where ECX is compared with Folfiri in first-line patients with advanced gastric cancer. The point is that uh, this uh, trial used a very peculiar um, endpoint, which is time to treatment failure, not time uh, uh, progression free survival. And there is a very small but significant difference uh, in favor of uh, Folfiri. However, the classical parameters, progression free survival and overall survival, are exactly uh, the same. So the question now is, have we made any progress in the treatment of advanced gastric cancer? Well, limited, but it is there. So when we uh, uh, 
come back to the early studies comparing best supportive care with uh, uh, chemotherapy, most of them uh, very early um, schedules, there's a risk reduction of a bit more than 60% in the risk of death. When combination uh, chemotherapy is compared with monotherapy, there's a further about 20% risk uh, uh, reduction. And with the so-called second-generation regimes, including uh, DCF or, or um, uh, um, uh, doublets or triplets, then we have overall another 20% reduction in the risk of uh, death, uh, apart from the TOGA trial, which is uh, the benefit is limited for those patients with HER3 uh, positive status. So. Uh, uh, in, in last uh, uh, May, there's this publication from individual data of uh, uh, more than 4,000, almost 5,000 patients participating in randomized trials. And this um, curve shows you that the, both curves, the green one is progression-free survival, and the yellow one is overall survival, are shifted um, uh, uh, to the right, indicating a tiny but significant effect on the experimental approaches compared with the uh, conventional uh, approaches. This is uh, how the data are summarized, indicating a global reduction in the risk of death of about 12%, which is not uh, very much, but is clearly uh, significant in this uh, large group of patients studied. So what is um, a reference cytotoxic regimen for first line? So regulatory, I would consider that only docetaxel and trastuzumab uh, in combination with uh, CF or uh, CX have been specifically approved uh, for its use in advanced gastric cancer. However, in the um, academic uh, independent uh, investigational setting, uh, ECF, ECX, EUX or DCF versus, versus platinum doublets uh, could be accepted as comparators for designing new uh, academic phase three uh, trials. For daily clinical practice, platinum plus 5-FU containing uh, doublets or oral fluoroprimidines uh, could be acceptable. Another point, uh, I think when we go um, uh, to this um, uh, timeline when we are getting what are the important advances we've got in the treatment of advanced gastric cancer, we should consider also second-line therapy because second-line second therapy was discussed as an investigational approach several years ago, but it is not so anymore because uh, we have not only uh, data uh, from uh, randomized trials uh, taking uh, best supportive care as the control arm, uh, not only with uh, chemotherapy, therapy, but also with biologicals, indicating, for example, that irinotechin or docetaxel uh, are improving um, survival of patients treated in the second line setting. So what is the recommended approach uh, to advance uh, gastric cancer patients? I would consider selecting patients with stored, uh, performance status zero or one to participate in clinical trials, and this should be our priority. Uh, chemotherapy is, in fact, having a palliative role in this uh, setting. The determination of the HER2 status is mandatory Patients' reported outcomes in this setting is also of value for, new, for designing new trials. We have to assess the risk of toxicity versus the benefit achieved. Uh, TCF, uh, ECF, EOX, or similar schedules um, are of value, and second-line therapy for selected patients should be also considered as a standard of care. Thank you.